Hello everyone, my name is Megan Cruz, and today I'll be showing you how to access R2 Digital Library, R2 Digital, as a database providing full text access to nursing, medical, and allied health resources and ebooks. You can always shoot us an email over at this address if you ever have any problems. Let's go over underneath the Discover bar and click on the Galileo link. You'll see that we're logged in as East Georgia State College. This will vary depending on if you're off campus or not. You may have to log in with your Open Athens credentials, which is just your regular username and password. Let's go over to Databases A to Z and select R for R2 Digital. It doesn't matter if you're just following a link or whatever. Um, this part isn't quite as important as the next. When we're here, we don't want to log in immediately. We want to go over to our Athens login option and select our organization. Uh, when you start typing in East Georgia State College, it's going to try and tell you no organizations found. You might have to play with it for a second, be a little patient, and then see our organization has been found. We want to log in with the East Georgia option, not our Open Athens. And that's our same username and password we use for Georgia View. I do recommend that you create a user profile, especially if you feel you'll use this resource a lot. I've went ahead and created mine, so we're going to go ahead and log in and get started on showing you how to browse. So R2 is really wonderful. It gives you a lot of browsing and A to Z indexes. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you have a lot of choices. You can narrow it down by discipline. You can look at nursing assisting. You can look at um, nursing theory. Just for an example, I'm going to say nursing assisting, and here's a workbook. I do really like this option because it has all of my publication information, my dates published, so I know how up to date it is. And then when I click into my table of contents, I can go directly into a certain section and just click through it. So this is a really interesting workbook. I can click through, and it'll show me all this information. And then for a particular page, I can email it, export the citation for it, as well as save it, which you can only do if you have an account, save a bookmark, save this reference. And it's really great because it gives you these different options, as well as looking at topics found within it. And then I can browse within my workbook as well. So I already have my table of contents. I can jump to a, a certain section within my table of contents. It'll take me there. Or I can pick a term. So I see abdomen, and I'm going to search the term abdomen within the site. So there we go. And it, it shows me every single time the word abdomen comes up. So it's pretty wonderful. If I go ahead and clear my filters out and go back to browse, uh, you'll see that I have, again, all these options for discipline. I can look at particular publication titles. So if I'm looking for something in particular. I can go and jump to it. Here's the nurse drug handbook. And so this is wonderful. It's arranged alphabetically. I can go ahead and click into the letter that I'm looking for. Or I can search within this title to look for a particular drug that I'm looking for. And you'll see that it has these very detailed um, listings for this. So this is a really great resource. I do recommend it. It's pretty up to date, 2018. And then I can go back to my browse and I can look again at my authors, my publishers, or even my practice area. So you'll see we have a lot of nursing options as well. Uh, I do recommend looking at publishers for certain things. And if I want to look at my bookmarks, oh, this is wonderful. All the things that I went ahead and saved, it saved all my searches. So I can go back and recreate my searches. I do recommend also looking at A to Z index. Uh, drug names is wonderful. And so you can look at this and say, oh, I'm looking for a particular drug name. And when I pull it up, it's going to say Arnica. And, and it will have every single listing for this drug. It's going to give me some very detailed information. I can search within the publication once I've actually clicked within it. So that's a wonderful resource to have. If I go back to my A to Z index, I can look at diseases as well as topics. So let's scroll down a little bit and say we want to look at anemia. I can look at images. I can narrow it down by if I want full text or not. Let's say I'm looking for a particular image to include in a PowerPoint. So I have this, I know that it has the term anemia in it, 
and I can look and click and say, oh, look, this is a wonderful image. I can save it again when I have my account. I can create a direct link to the image and I can enlarge the image as well. So this is a really great resource. Um, I definitely recommend it. And then if you go back, again, you can look at all your various topics. These are just subject headings. And so they're going to be super specific. You can filter by um, certain practice areas and disciplines as well. So we're going to go over and start our search. So when we do our advanced search, uh, I do recommend you do an advanced search. By the way, we're going to type in at the top under our drug publication or condition, and then everything underneath that is all of our author publication information. So if you know what you're looking for, go for it. If you want things that are active, so those are things that are actively in print, they're probably going to be your best bets. And I do recommend selecting a start year and date um, just because with medical information you do want to have by a certain date. You'll see we have several search results and with some alternate search terms. So I could select blood coagulation disorders and you would see that I have several different results, very more specific. And then on the left-hand side of my page as well, I can narrow down by my practice area again, as well as publication dates. So if you're looking for something from a particular year, and don't forget you can save all your content in your My R2 account. This will conclude this video. If you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us in the library. And good luck with all of your research.